and glaring loopholes despite three layers of security for an individual who enters parliament for any visitor uh, who enters parliament there are three levels of security and one has to go through the body scanners and also physical check with happen which uh, you know frisking which happens uh, so perhaps because they knew the accused knew that there is no checking of the shoes that happens that is the reason why they managed to carry those canister uh, in their shoes and they used it to uh, to, uh, to you know to uh, put out those smokes inside uh, the lok sabha chamber uh, talking about the larger conspiracy and because the scanning of the social media accounts of all these accused is happening uh, by the delhi police uh, arvind the question is they got in touch with each other on the social media and how did the police actually miss that maria that's a kind of a worrying uh, scene what we are hearing from our sources in the security establishment because uh, if you could see uh, there are some key words that if at all if these people are using or if at all if these people are served uh, over internet about kind of explosives etc they they would have come under the radar of the uh, investigating agencies or the law enforcement agencies or the intelligence agencies but here uh, they didn't use any of the keywords that are already under the radar of the uh, agencies so that's that seems to be the loophole uh, that the agencies are kind of a uh, miss or these people used in order to evade the the eyes of the investigative or intelligence agencies because even during the course of the investigation these people are telling the police uh, that they are very much a uh, 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 patriotic they, they they want the nation uh, to 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 build itself but the issues that they are raising before the police during the course of the investigation are like unemployment a uh, price rise uh, societal most of uh, it are societal issues like caste oppression etc so that's where uh, it, it's kind of getting difficult for the agencies to keep a tab on such a group of people who are Are uh, getting misguided and then indulging in such radicalized, taking such radicalized or extreme position. So even in this particular case, all these uh, six people, at least one over six people, is what we are learning from our sources. All these six people met through a uh, 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 social media. Hmm. They were in touch with each other for over a year, and that's where they were discussing about all these issues. They started hmm. with inflation. They did discuss about the farmers' protest, Manipur issue, etc. So that's where. they got misguided and then they took this extreme position is what a preliminary investigation has revealed they did not use any of the sophisticated uh, infrastructure if they had tried to procure any of the explosives that would have alerted the intelligence agencies but they didn't do any of that in fact they instead of uh, getting into all that they tried using all this uh, smokes uh, uh, canisters uh, etc but uh, this is something maria that we did raise it with our sources in the uh, police also whether they used the plast uh, plastic a canister or the metal because if they had used Plastic metal canister yes. that would have at least given an yes. alert when they had yeah yeah so if they had crossed the metal detector that would have given some kind of an alert even in say the parliament of uh, frisking zone but here in this particular case we did try reaching out to uh, source whether to confirm whether they use the metal one or the plastic one that we are able to uh, get it confirmed from our source but prima facie what it looks like is that this is a group of yes. six people at least for now they met each other via they mm. got to know each other via, uh, via social media and and they did do a recce this particular manoranjan who is from mysore who got in touch with this particular office person of mm. the mysore lok sabha mp pradeep timma and then they they did do a, a recce uh, in in monsoon this manoranjan came to delhi he came to parliament premises in monsoon session he did uh, see the security apparatus Uh, uh, of the parliament and then they again tried to get a, a parliament this is one more interesting in information that we are getting from our sources maria in fact they wanted all the four people to enter the parliament but uh, though they asked for a pass on december mm. 14 that's for today but due to a mistake at the end of the office of uh, pradeep sima the pass was given only to two people on 13 and that's why the two people they uh, they they breached the Uh, security uh, uh, apparatus a uh, security perimeter inside lok sabha they jumped from the visitor gallery uh, they they jumped into the well of the into the uh, into the chamber and then they they started moving towards the moment those two people did inside the people two other people who couldn't go inside they also did the same thing outside so according to our sources in the police they have told the police that they just yeah. wanted to grab the attention of the government and also the public about the issues like unemployment inflation and and other societal issues that they have flagged before the police but the police is conducting in depth investigation to see whether yes. there is any other group that is behind they they whether any other group used them 
uh, for their advantage mm. is something that the police is still trying to investigate this matter. So though uh, several section stringent uh, sections and the yes. IPC and also UAPA have been invoked against the accused. All the accused, at least four of them, will be produced before the Patiala House Court and police will try to take them into further custody for further investigation.